There's actually, now that I'm done jumbling, because I've been jumbling a lot, this might be the start of a new part. I'm not too sure at this moment. There's actually two handprints in this, uh, in this area. And there's actually, uh, custom parts right here. So there's a custom part there, and then I think in the opposite corner is a handprint. One of these, uh, like, open frames has a handprint in it. Of course, I'm gonna search all of them. Except the right one. Seriously, there is one. Apparently, I can't find it, though. Maybe I should have searched it from above. You can like, you can see the handprints pretty visible from far away. This is pretty silly. Is it in here? Maybe. Nope. There is one down here. I'm not lying. I'm serious. It's it's in one of these spots here. There it is. But yeah, there's actually two handprints in this room. That one is pretty like is pretty obvious that's there because I mean you're you're gonna check these little. These little things on the wall, they look kind of suspicious, considering one of them has custom parts in it. Uh, speaking of that, let's check out the custom part we just got. Long magazine, well that's good. Uh, that'll increase uh, our ammo capacity for the gun. 20%, so putting on the handgun's more practical, because it gives you two extra bullets. If we put on the shotgun, we'd only get one extra bullet, whatever. But yeah, this other handprint... You never, I don't think you'd ever know to look here. It's not suspicious at all. I mean, most of the handprints are in pretty obvious spots. That one's just like there. Like, it's just a wall. So, I, I missed that one when I first played. Because you wouldn't think to scan there. It's kind of silly. But anyway, no one can get in the emergency communication room. This is where we want to go. Alright, so the comms officer's on the promenade deck. So we gotta go find him, and hopefully he has a key to get us in the comms room there. Oh, before I forget, there is one hidden thing. It's This is a completely optional area too, by the way. You're gonna wanna do this. Um, there's if, if you're looking for trophies slash achievements, there's one to be gotten by doing this too. Uh, by coming up here, you'll notice the on our map there's a little empty hallway section there this leads to an area of the map you, you technically never have to go to um, but there's a whole bunch of hidden goodies here there's ammo uh, there's a weapon here uh, that we can get right now so after having just one weapon we're all of a sudden going to three so that's pretty cool yeah and and there's a whole bunch of stuff we're not gonna be able to get yet but the weapon we are gonna be able to get but you are gonna want to come here right now and you'll see why in it in a minute here anyway. And it's pretty creepy too. There's these things hanging from the ceiling that are enemies, but they won't do anything to you right now. But you can scan them and you can get some percentage. There's some lockers here. And with some like I said, a bunch of goodies to be to be got here, so like just loot everything. You want like I said, you want all the ammo you can get. But yeah, there's a there is a ton of stuff here. But look how creepy this place is. This is like a this is a swimming pool aboard the uh, ship, but it's seen better days. <laughs> uh, so there's actually some goodies on the other side of the swimming pool, but we can't actually go in there because, as you can see, it's pretty gross looking. And Jill doesn't want to swim in that because she'd probably die. <laughs> the door's bolted shut, and there's a little screwdriver puzzle here, so we will unscrew the things there and the screws you they're not coming out that's pretty lame <laughs> alright see if we can't figure this out we gotta uh, unscramble these like wires here that shouldn't be too hard right I don't think I'll, no I already unscrambled them that was, that was actually really easy that wasn't too hard at all well, those puzzles aren't really that hard they were introduced in the 3DS version as an excuse. Here's some touchscreen stuff, now leave us alone. And I forgot about this, there's a handprint up here too, so... If you're looking for those handprints, there's another one. But in here, we got a rifle. The M40A1. Uh, this rifle is incredibly powerful. And this switch here, that purifies the pool, you will want to hit it. But the thing is, it doesn't purify right away. You'll have to come back later. That's why you want to do it now. So when you come back later, it's done. And you can get all the cool stuff that's on the other side of this pool here. I don't know if she... Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, I didn't think it was in... 
I thought they made uh, reference to that. Yeah, the enemies aren't going to come alive. <laughs> Not until you come back, anyway. But yeah, this rifle, now we have accents, uh, accents? access to a long-range weapon, which is useful. And rifles, like I said, they're really powerful. So you don't get a lot of ammo for them. Um, like, there, it's not rifle ammo is not usually just lying around. Uh, you'll have to find you'll you'll be more likely to find handgun and shotgun ammo than you're gonna find rifle, but it's it's there. But yeah, really powerful. <laughs> and we got some custom parts, so I'll check out the weapon box again. I guess I could have waited till I found everything before showing showing off the weapon box. But uh, hey. I didn't, I didn't realize we'd be getting all these custom parts, so... There might actually be some more custom parts here, because as you saw with the illegal ones that we found... That was the burst uh, pickup, by the way. Sometimes custom parts are just chilling as items that can be found with the Genesis. And that's kind of sucky, because I'm, I'm... You know, I got a pretty big habit to be using the Genesis all the time. And I don't want to for the Let's Play. So... But I, I'll find myself doing it because, you know, it's so easy to do. You just press the left L2 button and, you, you know, you pull up the Genesis, no harm. And we got a fire rate thing, so that's pretty good. I guess we'll put that on the Windham. We don't really care about upping the fire rate of the rifle because it's a bolt-action rifle. Look how much firepower it has, though. 1,100! What? Yeah, that much. And why did I unequip it? Do I want to give it a part? It doesn't really need one. I mean, it's really good. We don't have really a lot of custom parts right now, but eventually it will be like, what parts do we want to put on? Because you get that many parts eventually. But yeah, the rifle, like 1100 power. I don't know if you notice how many shots it takes to kill a zombie. The handgun, probably like seven or eight. So this thing's like one shot on pretty much all the oozes. <laughs> Sorry, um... I can't remember what I called him earlier. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, TM. What do you want me to call them? Was it jellies? No. It was something stupid. <laughs> I don't remember what I called them. I, I remembered like right away, like first time I said it, but now I don't remember at all. There's nothing down here, which is really, really dumb. <sighs> really? Blobby? Blobs? I don't know doesn't matter there oozes <laughs> anyway but now we got the rifle we can wreck some face there might be something hidden uh, in here no there's some rifle ammo that's what it looks like it's a white box of ammo I guess we're full-on handgun ammo okay apparently uh, we can only up to 50 I thought it was 60 okay well whatever 60 or 50 is good I'm not gonna argue now you can hear some weird sounds right now, like and there's a sniper on. guy over there. But we have our own sniper, and that's the wrong weapon. Or that's the Genesis. That's a headshot. Look at that. Just dead. Just get out of here. Like I said, bolt action. Every time you fire this thing, you're gonna have to. It reloads, or rather resets. Reloading is when you actually run out of ammo. That's a bit. That's a little bit different. Was there something there? I thought I saw it glow yellow. No, I'm just insane. That's okay. Nothing here? No? Like I said, you want to use the Genesis in suspicious looking areas. Oh, there's another thing here. Bam! Oh, shot on the shoulder. He's dead. Overpowered. I should probably not be using this thing, though, because... I mean, you want to save the rifle ammo for, like, you know, targets that aren't just... Whatever I called them. Oh, it's so bothering me. Okay, so there is the way to go. That's a dead end. You want to come down here first, because I believe there's some stuff. Yeah, there's some custom parts. That's a one-way trip, actually. We're going to have to do something before moving on. And, oh, there's a thing we can scan there. What's in there? We can hear someone, so maybe that guy's alive. The shotgun ammo case was hidden. So, yeah, apparently even ammo cases are hidden, too. I didn't realize that. But, yeah, we got upped ammo for shotgun, so that's pretty sweet. Oh, I thought I heard someone moving. Apparently not. I can hear someone saying Mayday. Fire rate 2? Not bad. Let's put that on our uh, handgun. The faster I can fire, the better. And uh, we have three fire rate ones now, too, don't we? Yeah. 
So might as well put it on the rifle. I don't think it's that really matters that much unless you uh unless it like uh reloads the rifle faster, like the bolt action. It might. I'm not I don't think it does though. Maybe. Yes, this is the Queen Zenobia. Uh, do we really want to open that door? Uh, well, we do, but before I do that, uh, there is something I want to do here. And that is collect stuff. <laughs> and also, there's a handprint up here, too. And I want to get that before I forget. Because I probably will. And there's some rifle ammo. Oh, we're full on rifle ammo. See, like I said, we don't get a lot. Only only 20 extra bullets. And, you know, the 8 we have. So it's not... Like, I mean, they're powerful bullets. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Is there any more shotgun ammo we can pick up? There's a item here. Yeah. What's here? Handgun ammo. Well, in case we need it. I can check out this room here. Anything in here? There's uh, some shotgun ammo. Oh, he's trying to make an emergency call. Maybe I should let him out. I mean, why am I keeping someone just locked in a room? That's pretty, uh, pretty mean of me, isn't it? That's pretty mean. I guess I'll let him out. I mean, <laughs> you know, why would I not do that? There's a tank in here, isn't there? There's a... What am I talking about? Let's shoot this. Oh my god! Boom! 